Hey all here at OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at Moondrop's SSRIEMs, or in your monitors, they stand for Super Spaceship Reference. With a pretty distinctive design to it, it's crafted out of this liquid metal material, and it sells for under 40 bucks, so it's also very affordable. Moondrop specializes in hi-fi grade IEMs, uh, earbuds and headphones. That name might be referencing its very sleek overall look with its industrial uh, shapes as well as curves that are going on. Another interesting thing about this particular model is it claims to have some specially designed clogging filters uh, inside. There's a separate layer that catches and prevents things like uh, earwax from falling in and dampening or affecting the sound. Uh, the packaging here is very colorful and then inside here we have just the buds themselves. But on the rear here we also have a quick look at uh, the various parts. It is using a beryllium driver built on in, but it is a single driver unit, which is also not as trendy these days in a way as uh, some other companies that tend to shove more and more drivers into their smaller buds to pack larger sound. So this has a more specific kind of niche sound to it that uh, aims to provide very clean and realistic audio quality, especially in terms of mids, frequency range of 20 to 20,000 hertz. One thing I want to point out is there's technically two versions or two color schemes of the SSRs. There's one which is more of that titanium aluminum color that you saw before, but the version that we have has been coated in more like a ceramic white color. Regardless of the color scheme, these are very compact buds. Again, something like a US Penny, you can see that these are just very small. We've got access to a soft carrying pouch, which is branded by the company Moondrop. And inside we also have some spare silicone tips to get a more snug fit depending on the size. Uh, there are no memory foam tips included with these, but that's expected at this low price. And by default, there isn't a tip that's pre-attached, so you'll want to use one and then stick it on. But this is a good opportunity to take a closer look at that anti-clogging filter, which is that mesh that covers up the drivers inside. The last few packaging contents include just a thank you card and a quick intro. It's all presented in a pretty neat looking font. Now taking a closer look at the design, it almost has a semi-heart shape to it in a sense, which looks kind of interesting. Has a industrial style screw on the top, and then the overall again a very angular shape, but the build is extremely solid. The entire thing is still constructed out of metal, feels very weighty and dense in the hands. Uh, the cable here, by the way, is also detachable. It's modular in the sense where you can replace the cable if it fries or breaks. You can also swap it out for other accessories, different cable lengths, and even optional Bluetooth cables. Cables, although by default it comes with a kind of standard 3.5 millimeter plug which is also gold plated. In a world where we're moving increasingly into TWS just for convenience, uh, IEMs offers a contrast and panders more towards users that care about high fidelity sound and want more detail, more resolution within the tracks that they're listening to, and they can get that by using a traditional cable. Now the cable here also has kind of a red disc or accent that is pulled onto the uh, right hand side, so you can quickly observe from afar which side is meant for the right, which side is meant for the left. And to provide a better fit, the part that attaches uh, over your ears when you're wearing it is also slightly bendable, it's kind of a memory wire design, so when you pop it in like this, this goes onto the outer edges of your ears. This particular one that comes included in the box, by the way, doesn't have a built-in remote control, so there uh, isn't ability for you to play and pause the music, to answer phone calls, there isn't a built-in mic. So if you want a, a wire that has a built-in microphone or is using Bluetooth, that's something that you have to pick up yourself using the standard kind of two-pin connector. In terms of a center splitter here, it does have the Moondrop logo once again. Of course, having high-res certified buds is only one piece of the puzzle. You also want to play back your music from a good source, usually having tracks which are high resolution encoded in formats like FLAC, for instance, and from a decent player. And when you get the combination of the two, you can get some very detailed and impressive sound. Generally speaking, consumer grade buds do have a more of an emphasis on boosting the bass, but potentially at the risk of uh, having other parts of the sound be a little out of balance and not really natural or how the artist intends it to sound. Uh, these are going to be a lot closer, so uh, in terms of bass, it's definitely present, but it's by no means overpowering. In fact, if you're a bass head, I would say that might be one of the slight cons of these SSRs, is it doesn't really kind of 
quite knock you out whenever you hear a drum beat. But at the same time, mids are super clean and filled with detail and very impressive. Anything that has to do with string instruments, such as guitars, trebles on these also do sound very good. So if you're listening to vocals, uh, it sounds very clean, textures of singers' voices. It's all reproduced really beautifully. Uh, between the two, in terms of mids and trebles, I would say mids in particular is where these are the strongest in terms of the sound. So male vocals, for instance, do shine a little bit more than female vocals. Again, if you're a lover of bass, you can definitely tweak it by using EQ settings on your device to boost that up yourself, and it definitely becomes more powerful. At the same time, though, just out of the box, by default, I would say the sound signature is more geared towards mids. They are super clean, so again, you don't hear any hissing, humming, or distortion, but that's pretty typical in terms of wearability and ergonomics. As aforementioned, they are very comfortable. I tried listening to music on these for about three to four hours and still didn't really notice any stress or strain. They're very noise isolating because of the in-ear style tip, so it doesn't allow too much noise to leak out or leak in, and this proves that you don't really have to spend an arm or a leg to get something that sounds very, very good. Comparing this against something like AirPods, for instance, you just get so much more details out of the mids and trebles that sounds extremely clean and clear. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Moondrop SSR, as long as you're after something that uh, is going to shine a bit more for acoustic and pop tracks. These are a great pair to try for a low price. You can learn more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.